What's going on guys, Sam here again. And uh, I apologize for the long break between videos. I've been working really hard on the Unreal Engine course for filmmakers, as well as my new film, Gemini, which I've made a lot of progress on, and I'm really excited to share with you guys everything that I've learned on that. So there's gonna be a lot of new content coming up soon, and also I'm gonna be finally releasing Gemini sometime in the next few months, so stay tuned for that as well. But in today's video, I wanna go over how to composite media textures and layers inside of Unreal Engine. So this technique is gonna be useful for integrating any sort of media textures or layers that you wanna put into your Unreal Engine projects. So this is gonna be useful for uh, creating fog cards, green screen compositing, or any sort of other video layer that you want to integrate into your Unreal Engine project. So in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to make fog cards inside of Unreal Engine and then how to composite those into your scene, get them to play back properly in the sequencer, and any other details that might come up along the way. So before we get into the video, I just wanna let you guys know that I am migrating all of my content over to a new channel called Balance Entertainment 2. I'll put a link on the screen right now so you guys can go over and check that out, subscribe to it. Um, I'm not gonna be posting on this channel anymore in the future. I will keep posting a few videos until I have everybody migrated to the new channel. But just so you guys know, if you are interested in subscribing to Boundless Entertainment, head over to that new channel and make sure you click the subscribe button there. I'd really appreciate it. So without any further introduction, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to import our uh, atmosphere into our project. And this is just a, an MP4 H.264 file that I've rendered out of After Effects. And uh, all we're going to do is right click in here and we're going to go in here to media and then we're gonna click on media player and we're gonna check video output media texture asset, click okay. And we're just gonna name this something that's gonna create a media texture and we're also going to have this media player. So if we double click on our media player, uh, it's gonna open this window and what we wanna do is go and find our atmosphere 01 file and it's going to be this one. We're gonna double click that and we're gonna hit save, okay? And we can close out of this. So now what we're going to do, we have our texture here. We can create a plane. So I'm going to go up here and search plane. And we can just drag one into our scene here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our scale. We're going to unclick this and we're going to do 16 and then hit tab and click 9. And what that's going to do is just going to set our aspect ratio for us. We want our aspect ratio of this plane to match the aspect ratio of our footage, which is 16 by 9. So what I'm going to do is just uh, rotate this. And we have our plane. Okay. So I'm just going to take this and drag it onto our plane. That's going to create a material for us. We can double click on this material, go into it. And I'm going to maximize this window, make it bigger. And what we want to do here is we're gonna map our opacity and we're going to just set up our texture for this video material. So what we wanna do, since we wanted to have it just transparency, this video doesn't actually have transparency yet, so we need to create that. So what we're gonna do is go to our blend mode and we're gonna click that and click on translucent. And uh, we can alt click on the base color here so that we get rid of that. And we're gonna take our texture sample and drag out the RGB and we're gonna go into a multiply node. We're gonna do, we're gonna multiply by a scalar parameter. So we're gonna hold S on the keyboard and click. It's gonna create a scalar parameter and we're just gonna call this strength. The setting here will determine the strength or opacity of our fog layer. So what we're gonna do is take this multiply node and drag it into our emissive color. All right, and then what we're gonna do is go down here and create another scalar parameter and we're gonna call this one opacity. So this is going to be the actual opacity of, of our fog layer. And uh, we can set our default value. And what I like to do when I'm doing these fog layers, in order to create transparency, I like to set the multiply value strength for the emissive color to be really high and the opacity to be really low. And that what that's gonna do is it's just going to have the bright areas of our image, which is the fog, is going to be brighter and the dark images are going to go away. So I set this opacity down to 0 0.01 and then I'm gonna set the strength value up to something like 70, for example. And uh, that's going to create a pretty good level of opacity for our fog asset. I'm gonna click save on this. And now we can see we just have this white layer and that's because we have to set up so that it will actually play in our sequence. So if I go up to our cinematics and I go to our camera move to here, that's our sequence. 
just ignore all these other fog layers that I have in here. So what we're going to do is go and we're going to add a, a media track so that our media player can actually play this when we play through our sequence. So we go up here to track and I'm going to do media track and then I'm going to click this little plus sign on the media and we're going to click on atmosphere 01 which is what we just created. And then the last thing that we have to do is right click on our media track and go up here to edit section. Uh, we can click on our media texture and what we need to do is set up our media texture so that it plays properly. So we're gonna click on this uh, ATM01 tutorial video because that's the one we just created. And now what we can do is just drag this out and we wanna drag this all the way to the end we can always reposition this. So uh, at the start here, that is the start of our clip playing and this will be the end of our clip playing. Uh, it's not an infinite clip, so it's not going to play forever. I've faded it out so that it organically dissolves into the background. So you can see that our fog clip is actually playing, which is what we want. So the other thing that we need to do real quick is go into our material and you can see now we're seeing our, our actual fog showing up on this uh, material display. I'm gonna set this a little higher to something like 100. Uh, it depends on your scene, so your, your settings may vary. But uh, the other thing that I wanna do is go into our material here and set this to two-sided. And that way we can rotate this around to any side and it's going to properly display. So uh, now if we go, if we flip this around, for example, we can flip it to the other side and see the opposite side and it's still going to display. If you don't check two-sided, it's not going to display on both sides. So uh, that's an important thing to do. And then the last thing that we want to do just to make sure that uh, everything is, uh, is, is as it should be is go down to our plane here. And if you move this down, you're going to see that it's actually going to be casting a shadow on our ground and we don't want that because it's just going to cast the shadow of a plane if we had an actual opacity or alpha mask for this layer we could have the shadow and properly cast a shadow but we don't have that for this material so what we're going to do is go into our details here and just turn off our cast shadow and that's not going to give us that weird shadow anymore so that's all uh, going to be fixed up then but that is essentially how you set up these fog cards and that's going to allow you to really add a lot of movement to your scene you can also use this to composite using video clips uh, if you want to as well so that's a really useful technique so that about wraps it up for this video guys thank you for watching and i hope it was helpful to you so if you guys like this video it is actually a bit of an excerpt from the unreal engine course that i'm working on it's almost done and i'm really excited to share with you guys so if you're interested in that stay tuned subscribe to the new channel and i can't wait to hear what you guys think I do want to say that I've started moving all of my content over to a new channel. It's currently called Boundless Entertainment 2, so that there's not confusion, but I am going to be migrating all of my videos to that new channel, and soon I'm only going to be posting my videos to that channel, so this current channel is not going to exist anymore. Make sure you head over and subscribe to that new channel. I'm going to put a link in the description, and I'll also put a link on the screen right here. So don't forget to do that. I would greatly appreciate it, and it'll really help me out, especially in the long run. And also a special thank you to everybody who has already migrated to the new channel. I appreciate it. So once again, thanks for watching and have a good one, guys.